Of the 96% of Nebraska's corn that's been planted, 78% has emerged according to the latest USDA progress report. 72% is rated good to excellent, matching the national average. Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Zim says growers can now be scouting fields for signs of seedling diseases. We talked with Tamara Wednesday about what problems farmers might be noticing. We're continuing to see seedling disease develop in cornfields all the way across Nebraska to varying extent. Some uh, very light seedling diseases here and there and, and some that are more severe. Are there specific areas of the field that might be problematic? Well, a lot of these diseases and the pathogens that cause them are favored by the wet conditions that we've had and the uh, conditions have slowed down corn growth in some in some areas and so that's predisposed them to seedling diseases and we've got several that we uh, are uh, prone to see right now. Before you uh, mention any specific ones, how would you know if you should be scouting or what to scout when you go out there? I think it's a good idea for everybody across the state to be mindful that there could be some problems this spring. We're not out of the woods yet and so we hope that they'll get out and monitor these fields, especially in areas where we've had repeated and uh, continuous wet conditions. So while people are monitoring their fields and their stand establishment, I'd look for what might look like skips, having healthy plants and then suddenly a missing plant or a shorter, more st a stunted plant and maybe even one that's discolored. And so uh, what they probably ought to do is try to dig that plant up and take a closer look or dig in that gap to see if it was actually a planter issue or if there is a struggling seedling or a rotten one down below. And so to look for rotting roots or sunken discoloration uh, and lesions and uh, also uh, we call it post or pre-emergence damping off. So all of these are symptoms that you can see with seedling diseases. Let's look at a few of them and start with Pythium. What will Pythium look like? Well, Pythium is the one in particular that's probably going to be more common in the wet conditions. It, it produces spores that swim in the, in the wet, in the water and they're attracted to the roots. And so in these wet conditions, that's one that we tend to see more often. But all three of the main ones have very similar symptoms. And so I don't think it's gonna be practical or possible for many people to tell them apart. What are the other two then, other than Pythium? Oh, well, we also have Fusarium, and there's several species of Fusarium, the fungus that can cause seedling disease, and also Rhizoctonia that can appear as well. And so if you go out to the field, you notice you have some stand problems, what, do you, what should you do with those samples? Well, if they want a diagnosis, they can submit it to the Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic or their local plant clinic and get a diagnosis. But what they really ought to do is make sure that they do have good stand establishment and make sure they don't need to replant. And so I would monitor their populations. Anything specific to know when you send in a sample, if you send in a sample? Yes, we always recommend sending samples in a plastic bag and have them shipped as quickly as you can so that the clinic will receive the highest quality samples and give you the best diagnosis possible. You mentioned earlier that we're not out of the woods yet. At what point are we out of the woods? Well, as the plants grow and get larger and as temperatures warm up and we have our more normal conditions, they'll be more likely to uh, be able to withstand these types of pathogen problems. And we'll have a whole list of other things to talk about later in the season. If you are replanting and you do choose corn this late in the year, is there anything you need to do differently? Most of the time when we replant corn, often the conditions have changed. And so weather conditions may not be favorable for the same disease again. But if you notice that this is a, a chronic problem year after year, you might want to take other steps like tiling an area that doesn't drain well, or uh, we don't have any data to support, but possibly an inferro fungicide might help since we can't really make seed treatment decisions about corn.